Do you often feel tightness or discomfort in your back when you try to move freely? You're not alone, and the root cause may not be your back, but something surprising, your pelvic stability. Today, I'm taking on the challenge of improving pelvic stability through thoracic rotation, and I'll show you how these exercises can reduce pain and improve your movement. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, we'll break down how to improve pelvic stability, why thoracic rotation is key, and I'll walk you through some exercises that can help you feel better and move more efficiently. Let's dive into why pelvic stability matters and how we can unlock better movement through thoracic rotation. Pelvic stability is your body's ability to maintain a strong, balanced position during movement, whether you're walking, running, or just sitting at your desk. When your pelvis is stable, your spine and hips move in harmony, reducing strain on your muscles and joints. But here's the issue. Poor posture, muscle imbalances, and a stiff thoracic spine can all throw off this delicate balance, leading to discomfort or even chronic pain. A common sign of poor pelvic stability is tightness in the lower back, hips, or knees. These issues can often be traced back to the limited mobility of your thoracic spine, the part of your spine located in your upper back. When the thoracic spine doesn't rotate properly, it can force your pelvis into unnatural positions, creating a domino effect of strain across your body. So, how do we fix this? The key is improving thoracic rotation, which is the ability of your upper back to rotate smoothly. This movement is crucial for everyday tasks, whether you're turning to grab something or twisting during a workout. Without good thoracic rotation, your lower back and hips take on too much stress, which leads to discomfort and injury. Now let's break down seven effective techniques that will help you improve pelvic stability by enhancing your thoracic rotation. Number one, T-spine rotation exercise. One of the most effective ways to improve thoracic rotation is through the T-spine rotation exercise. To do this, sit on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat. Place your hands behind you for support, then rotate your torso to one side while keeping your hips still. Hold for a few seconds, then return to center. Number two, the 90 to 90 drill. Another game-changing exercise is the 90 to 90 drill. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and rotate your torso to one side, maintaining a 90 degree angle between your thighs and torso. This exercise forces your pelvis and spine to work together in perfect harmony, improving both stability and mobility. Number three, core strengthening exercises. Your core muscles play a major role in pelvic stability. Exercises like planks and dead bugs help strengthen the deep core muscles that stabilize your pelvis during movement, reducing strain on your lower back. Number four, glute activation. Weak glutes often contribute to pelvic instability. Bridges and clamshell exercises target your glutes, helping to stabilize your pelvis and reduce overcompensation from other muscles. Number five, foam rolling the thoracic spine. Using a foam roller on your upper back can help release tension and improve thoracic mobility. Roll gently from the base of your neck to your mid-back to loosen up stiff muscles. Out of these methods, two stand out as absolute game-changers for improving pelvic stability and reducing pain. The T-spine rotation exercise and the 90 to 90 drill. These exercises are simple yet incredibly effective for improving your thoracic rotation and overall movement patterns. By practicing the T-spine rotation daily, you'll increase your range of motion, helping you move more freely without straining your lower back or hips. Meanwhile, the 90 to 90 drill strengthens the muscles responsible for keeping your pelvis and spine aligned. By focusing on controlled, smooth movements, you'll gradually see improvement in how your body moves, and more importantly, how it feels. I highly recommend giving these two exercises a try for a few weeks to see if you notice a difference in your mobility and pain levels. To recap, improving pelvic stability and thoracic rotation is key to pain-free movement. By incorporating exercises like the T-spine rotation and the 90 to 90 drill, 
along with core strengthening, glute activation, and proper breathing, you can improve your posture, alleviate back pain, and move more efficiently. Have you tried any of these exercises before, or have you struggled with back pain or pelvic instability? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experience and what's worked for you. Don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips on improving mobility and performance. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more content on pain-free movement and fitness.